It is quarter filled. So now my stop loss is right here. Let's swing both. Again, our directional shift is still to the upside. And my students know what that is, right? So let me see if we, uh, June, you were saying about the Fibonacci retracement. You see this retracement right here, right? So it went back down to the what? At the 38, right there, it went back to the 38. So it did finally retrace back to the to the retracements on the fib retracement, right? Right to the 38.20. So now that's the case that hit the thread zone, your your extension would be all the way up here. So that's what you can do, at least this one, you can actually have it up to here, minimum, but your next level would probably be up here. So let's see what's gonna happen to that. There's a high momentum bar to the upside. This is the MACD, uh, so, so dear. yeah, I do use them. In fact, I, I erased my mind indicator. You saw the colors are no longer there. So let me configure that once I get through this trade. So now you have the lines of the outer bands here. I, my original one I had, I, the, those, those uh, outer bands are really not there. So let's see if it's gonna break this fill line. But according to this, or it may also get down to this level here again and come back up. Again, I might test that uh, that Fibonacci retrace. So again, it's like a V2. You see how the momentum on that V2 or that on the on the um, fill line is angling up. That means strong momentum still is is accumulating to the upside. The thing is, we just have to break this VWAP right here. get 10 points let's see if we can get 10 points we have to have a strong momentum bar to get past this v web let's see if they can give it there it is that so let's see if they can continue with that
So hit this blue. Usually that's the first target. If you have you're trading more than one contract, your first target would have been here at six points. Your next one would be right here. This is the deviation level, and then your third one would probably be this red one. But I know the the way this pattern works, it's usually it gets up to here. This level right there. So our extension right here would be good over here. That's good. You can have it there. But I know the ultimate one would be right here. So let's see if it's going to at least get up to there. That'd be more than 10 points, which I'd be okay with. That would be a $500 trade, right? another pull uh, push up again let's see see if they can get bounce off here this fill line at least if not a bounce off from the from the map from the view app there's your bounce off You need another push. There it is. I mean, the target would be up here, but I'll I'll leave it at this extension here. Let's see, because that's at least that's more than ten points. Let's see what's going to happen. So let's okay, let's move it up maybe here. So that's going to be what? Uh, eight, no, right there. There you hit your ex there's your there's your target you hit right doing the extension of the Fibonacci's but I said like I said the target would be up there somewhere uh, that's good for hopefully that's around 13 some points let's see if we can get up there there I'm pretty much done for the day beautiful trade just the way it worked out. Hit the had hit the retracement right down to 36.2 or 38.2, went up to the extension at least to the extension. You got your more than two points there. Again, that's what how you do the Fibonacci trade. Um, so I'm pretty much done. Uh, let me see here. You know, every time I say I'm going to do the trade performance, I always got a good setup, but now definitely I'm not. It's done. I just I don't want to trade that anymore I don't want to give back anything back so here's my trade for today I've made 921.18 for the day 